Today we are going to see the application of the SCADA. Now here you see there is a barrel and there is a tagging of barrel. It's an automatic process. Now I'll explain the whole process is how it is designed in SCADA. Now as you see the barrel comes automatically from the input conveyor then the tagging will done automatically and the barrel pushes automatically out to the output conveyor. Now this is the speed control of the process. As I vary the speed, you see the process will take and fast. In this way, we can vary the speed of the process very easily. Now there is a selector switch that is auto and manual. If we select manual, then we have to push the button that is new barrel. Then we have to transfer it then you have to also eject the barrel and now we will see if we fail to eject the barrel then what will happen I will take a new barrel then I will transfer it and I am failed to eject the oil from the barrel it will spill it over the ground and automatically a message from the manager comes would you please come into my office that means it is to the operator who is operating the whole system. The manager will see the whole system with the use of SCADA from anywhere with the use of the networks. Now uh, from SCADA this is the final process. Now there are the many section that is reactor. Means here we see that fluid is processing there is a concentration of the fluid there is a temperature there is a level uh, for the temperature and level there are alarms we can acknowledge the alarms and we can also acknowledge the all alarms in a single shot we also obtain the graph of the temperature and level uh, these are the walls, water wall, steam wall, transfer wall, output wall. We can operate these walls from the SCADA. And also there is a password for the protection of that. That unauthorized person will do not have. He don't, he do not operate that walls. I mean, he do not have the authorization to operate the walls. Then we can set the batch concentration. Here click OK and exit. We can also see the historical trend is the process going continuously for the 24 hours then we can see the trend of the process means how it will goes what are the alarms come in that last 24 hours how the process will be taking place we can see all these graphs of performance in that historical trend then for maintenance there is a solenoid wall so there is a, some fault between that solenoid wall so there is a message, message came up verify actuator and limit switch so operator is going to verify the actuator and limit switch and click it on OK as by using SCADA we can control the whole process from one place and even if you are not in the industry or at a place we can see it from anywhere, anywhere in the world by using a uh, networks. The SCADA is very good and very well processed for monitoring and operating.